My name is John and in this video presentation I'll show you how to map folders. And what map folding, mapping folder means is that we'll just take folders with one name and put it into a folder of a different name. The target folder can exist or can be a brand new folder. And sometimes you might have a folder that is named one thing in, in one email program such as Groupwise might have the inbox called Mailbox and you want that mailbox to go into the inbox of the target which could be Exchange or Lotus Notes. So let me show you how to do that. It's fairly simple to do. Star Trends and Migrator, come to the default screen, enter the required information for the source account, click on the folders button, load the folders from the source, and review what it is that you want to map. In this Lotus Notes source account, my inbox here is called Notes Inbox. I'm going to add that to the folder map by right clicking on that. The sent folder I want to map. And if I really want to migrate junk mail, I'll map that. And I may want to put that on your folder exclude list, but I'll show you how to map that. Once you've decided which folders you want to map, go ahead and clear this out. Go to the folder mapping table, and now you'll see that the original folder name is listed on this column. So type in what the new folder name should be. Let's make the notes inbox, inbox, sent, sent items, junk mail, junk, e dash mail. That's it. So once you map the folders, you can just press OK and start, whoops, enable your migration and start your migration. The migration, migration monitor appears. Um, it shows you the status and the progress of what's happening to the account that you're migrating. And when it's finished, it'll come up with a migration report. Press OK to end that. And go ahead and review your target email application. I'm opening up uh, my test account. And you'll notice that the messages for the inbox are in the inbox. The sent items are to the sent items folder. And if I had junk mail, which I don't think I do, they would have gone in there. And I'm glad I don't have any junk mail. So that's how you map folders. There's one other thing you might want to consider doing, too, is maybe you want all your messages to go from the source account to a different folder. And you want to keep your um, migrated messages separated from your um, native messages. Maybe you're already using the target email system and you don't want to mix the, the messages. So rather than mapping folders, let's go to this folder mapping table. Rather than doing this, go ahead and clear that out and choose a group name. Go up to the Migration Options, Custom Options, go to the General section and look for a group name. Enable that and type in where, where you want those um, message items and folders to go to. So let's call it Migrated. So now that I've enabled that, press Start Single Migration and let it go. And the migration happens again. And this will go pretty fast since there's only a few messages in here. Exit. And if you look in the target, we'll see that migrated folder with the, the original folders and their contents within that structure. And of course, in here, you know, the other items are still there because we migrated um, once into the same account. But now when you look into the migrated folder, you'll see those items. So that's how you map folders and uh, migrate folders into a group name if you want to do that instead. Thank you for watching.